consider subscribing to my dinky little channel here. This was information that was very hard won on my end. Please, please subscribe. I said, anything I build, it's yours. And she's good. she keeps insisting she wants my name on the house and all that stuff if we build a house. And, and we'll see how that goes. And if she insists, I'll do it. That's fine. But uh, uh, I'm not going to emotionally invest in that because she has told me, she's confirmed this is true. And I've said this before. And it happened to a friend of mine. So I know it's true. Any Thai lady who wants for any reason or no reason at all can go to the land office, go to the land office, and have your name removed in a day. You can be out of town or in town, wherever, whatever. And you'll come back and that's not your house anymore. And it's legal. You're, you're done. You're really done. You're, you're done. It's legal. Um, that may or may not be technically legal what they're doing, but they can do it. And once it's done, it becomes legal. Um, so I just would never emotionally invest in that. Having said that, I, I do want to do an interview with this one attorney who had a really clever workaround for that that probably works probably works. She came up with a very clever idea. And a friend of mine's very successful uh, young man here. The ladies are all over him. Oh my God. He's 42, good looking, and he's in shape, and he owns a bar. And <laughs> he's like catnip for Thai ladies. But uh, and he's married, by the way. Anyway, so, uh, uh, but he's a very smart guy. He had a very clever attorney. So uh, anyhow, so um, go to the land, uh, go to the transportation office, and I register my motorcycle, pay the other fees. It took another hour. I had to ride it in the rain because the only day we can do it was this rainy freaking day. Got my super clean motorcycle all trashed. All my neighbors offered to clean it for me. I'm gonna maybe take them up on that, except it looks like rain again today. Using the car today, no motorcycle today. Day five, no motorcycle. This has never happened to me before. Anyways, and I think that's kind of my motorcycle story. So. You know, you again, there, there's a three lane on a big road, like Mitropop's the big road here, and the big road through a lot of Thailand is Mitropop, uh, M-I-T-T-R-A-P-A-P, -A -A -P, I believe. Um, there's three lanes, the left lane's for motorcycles, and then the middle lane you can go in for passing, and then the uh, far lane, uh, the right lane's the fast lane, and uh, you're not supposed to be there unless you're just passing or there's just no traffic at all. And you'll see more motorcycling videos that my GoPro does work and my knockoff GoPro. And, um, but you get dive bombed from behind. You gotta really watch it. You have to spend a third of your time watching your mirrors here, which is the, one of the major differences from uh, the States. All right. New tenant has a big truck and he's very respectful about it. He's asked specifically about, not about upsetting my girlfriend with any noise he makes or parking his vehicle. He's asked her about upsetting me. And I asked her why that was, and she said, one, because I'm an older man, and two, she goes, because you, 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 yai, um, big, palm yai. <clears throat> anyway, so, which is fun. Uh, I, I'm, I said before, I'm in, I'm just, that's maybe a shallow aspect of my personality, but I, I like not being hassled. I think I was hassled a lot before. But I, <sighs> my marriage has become negative, and I'm just enjoying not being hassled. That's, I've answered my own question again, that's why. And he's very respectful while keeping the gate closed so the soy dogs don't come in here and make a mess, and steel shoes and you know anyhow so so I think that's my motorcycle stuff so um, I wouldn't recommend going lower than 350 300 at the bare minimum CC I'd really recommend around a 500 that bike is not overly powerful trust me it's 47 horsepower it's fine if you drop a gear and nail it it will go but um, it's nothing crazy um, uh, I'll, and as I do my videos, they will be from the perspective of uh, relearning, um, relearning motorcycling and your grip and avoiding the death grip and all that stuff. Uh, I'll do some real good basics. I'm going to do some very, very careful traffic uh, flow analysis and, and I, I ride my bike very strategically like I'm playing chess. And I'm going to share all my tips and tricks, which I think are extremely well considered. I can, I can get you guys safe on the road on a motorcycle. It's so much more fun and cheaper than a car. Uh, but you can do a car, and you go on bot sold, and you can find a car or a motorcycle or both, uh, or a scooter, whatever. All right, uh, I'm getting tired of hearing myself talk. That's good. I'll, I'll put some pictures up, and I'll put this video up. Thanks. I'll promise you guys something on the suspension. Sorry, I almost forgot before I throw this thing together. Um, there's a big company here, a Thai-based company called YSS. If you're a motorcycle enthusiast, you may already know them. They're, they're an internationally marketed, distributed company. How they're known for 
maybe an above average quality at a, at a, at a kind of a below average price. It's a, it's a pretty good bargain. Um, and it's, they're, they're here, it's from here. Uh, and the big advantage to that, other than availability, serviceability, and cost, is you can go to a YSS place, buy actual parts, not fake parts, because there's fake everything here, and you can get it installed by someone who actually knows. And there's another advantage to the uh, CB500F. That's about as big a bike as you're going to find that you can actually get serviced. And YSS actually makes a specific kit for every model a year, because there's been small changes. You know, Honda, every couple of years, they improve things. And my 2019, as I said, has had some improvements to it. And the suspension and stuff is slightly different on the 19 and past. And I think the 22, they changed it again, I'm not sure. But um, so, but they, they took the time. I'll, I'll throw the photos up. I've got the specific model numbers, part numbers, and everything, which are hard to find, by the way, very hard to find. I got them. And uh, I'll put those up at the end with my other photos. Uh, it's really cool, 20,000 baht, I think, ballpark for the front and rear full thing. Um, that might have included installation. If it doesn't, the installation, I remember being insanely cheap, like 3,000 baht, which is under $100 for full installation. Um, and that gets you, I think, a full four-way adjustable front and rear suspension and the rear adjustable for preload, so passenger or not, and to your comfort and riding weight. So uh, um, it's not an Olin's but it's about three quarters as good for about a quarter of the price. Uh, that works for me. All right, uh, that's it.